I'm with Matthew Barnaby of the Pembroke Lumber Kings, and uh, Matt, uh, Matthew I had on uh, Blake Coffey earlier, and of course you, you guys both sons of National Hockey League players, so I asked him, how do you deal with, I mean, all your life, obviously, that you're known as a son of an NHL player, how do you deal with that? Well, it's kind of trying to separate yourself from him and trying to just be your own person on and off the ice, you know. You're, there, there's a shadow that comes with it, but... Uh, you know, a lot of people. If you if you handle things the right way, you can kind of make your uh, make your own name out there. Uh, a couple stints in the United States High School League. Maybe you want to describe those two stops. Yeah, the uh, the first one I played for uh, St. Joe's High School in Buffalo. Uh, it was a year where I was just too small to play anywhere else, so so I ended up playing there, and it was awesome. Great student section, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, Avon last year was probably like one of the most fun years I've had playing hockey just with the guys on the team and the dorm life of the school and the student section was just unbelievable and we had a really talented team and uh, I wish we could have won it all but it was it was one of the best teams I've ever been a part of. Uh, one of the best organizations certainly in this league, uh, 14 uh, championships, uh, the Pembroke Lumber Kings, how did you, uh, certainly wasn't by coincidence, how did you become a Lumber King? Well uh, just you know I, my, my dad's from from Ottawa so we were kind of looking up in this league rather than like other leagues in Canada and uh, Pembroke just, you know, just looking at their history and just like it's such a storied franchise that it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's been a, a tremendous run. I mean, right off the bat, this league known for its development and commitments and maybe a month into this season off to Lake Superior State. What a feeling to know where you're going next year. Yeah, yeah, it should it should it was a pretty easy decision for me, a place where I'm gonna play a lot and a great coaching staff and I can't thank Pembroke enough for helping me get where I am and uh, a lot of the credit for this year goes to them. Obviously you've been blessed with some offensive skills. I've seen that from uh, day one in the showcase there this year. Has it always been that way? Have you had the hands? Uh yeah, it's something I worked on a lot with my dad as a kid, you know, trying not to be a, as big of a fighter as he is and uh try to use my hands a little bit more in a different way than than uh, with a closed fist, but uh, yeah, I've always had pretty good hands and some knowing the game pretty well. And uh, I just got my height recently, so it's uh, starting to all come together. But yeah, I've I've always been a pretty talented player. Kind of the stretch drive here now. The Lumber Kings on the outside looking in, but you're down to 13 or 14 games. You still got a shot at it. Oh yeah, hopefully we can string a couple of wins together and make a run at the playoffs. And uh, I like the guys in our room, and I think we have a really good chance to do it. Yeah, you're playing the second game in 24 hours, Matthew. It a uh, tough uh, loss last night in Cornwall against a pretty good hockey team, two to one. What was that game like? Well, we we kind of had like a we we had a great first period, and it was kind of like a flat flat end of the period, and we gave up two quick goals, and and then I, th I think we dominated the game for most of it. And their their goalie played pretty well, and so did ours. But uh, when it comes down to it, we're just having a tough time scoring goals right now. Thanks very much for doing this. Continued success. Yeah, thank you, Matthew Byrne, me of the Pembroke Lumber Kings.